Hey, my name is Nexel and Gusto. We are here in Florence, a beautiful city, and with me, Vittorio Bondi, the gelato master. And here we are in his lab in Florence, the gelati uh, del Bondi. Vittorio, you are a great gelato master. Well, thank you. <laughs> and president of the Florence um, Gelato Association, right? Yes, the artisans. Uh, exactly. I am. Uh, I am the, the president of the association. I am also a gelato master. I was born in Florence, and then I do. I know all the way to make the real gelato. Okay, because you know, like there's lots of confusions between gelato, ice cream. Right? It's so totally different. It's, it's crazy, like, yeah, it's well, so, that's a confusion. It's, it's true, it's because as, as many people have come to my place has ask me, like, how ice cream, ice cream, it's a totally different. Ice cream is like, to be compared, like, an ice cube, it's a really frozen, mm -hmm. it's, the taste is, uh, like, cold. Yeah, it's, the it's ice cold. cream the, is that, the gelato is totally another way, it's much more soft, it's much more creamy, it's, uh, it's a really, it's really, taste of the, the real thing you have inside of Very full body, right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But, and also like creamier, but not fatter. Actually, exactly, right? exactly. Yeah. Because in the ice cream, the first voice is anytime is cream. But in that case of the uh, gelato, the first voice, it's uh, milk. It, that is why it's coming more light of taste. So better and healthier and uh, tastier, right? Yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah. It's in that case, it's uh, much more healthy because uh, we talk like the f between four to seven percent of fat. Then mm. ice cream is uh, like twenty five percent of fat. Wow, you a big difference. Yeah, big difference. But uh, so, what are the secrets? I mean, the real secret for well, a good major <laughs> lot, I would say. <laughs> It's a, it's a lot about that one here. We need like uh, maybe five hours, and maybe that's <laughs> not enough. But anyway, yeah. I'll be explaining very easy yeah. the premium qualities of ingredients, mm -hmm. and then uh, doing using something strange like uh, palm oil trans fat, just the real cream, just the real f uh, milk, the real like pistachio. The real thing is that mm. the, the raw of pistachio, nuts, whatever. But it's also we need to do everything by scratch. That's very important, right? Absolutely. Yeah, to have absolutely. the best quality. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And you know, like you are you're an expert, so you love like to do experiments with new flavors. Absolutely. And you know, like so what are the new trends in, in flavors? Yeah, well that is like the the, the, the new flavors like sometime I, I get from my tradition, from tradition of these areas, the Florence area. And then it's, uh, it's, for me it's not strange to make the like Papa Pomodoro sorbet or like wow. the Bolita sorbet or the sausage the, the, oh, the, the sausage the, yeah the, the wild pork sausage and then we serve the, the this sorbet in that case and then we serve with the toasty bread. It's amazing because here actually we are in the gelateria close by this Mercato Centrale, yeah. so the central market yeah. of Florence. So from, from there, right? From the farmers to yeah. the gelato, right away yeah. with all the ingredients. That is straight. I go straight <laughs> like that. <from> there. <laughs> Fantastic. So <laughs> and um, okay, what your your flavor? So the, the flavor that actually, you know, await your soul. Well, that is my soul is I grew up I grew up when I am like five years old probably and then I remember very well the pops with the with the cherries and gelato inside. All right. And then is there any time I don't eat every day but there is uh, many times I eat like that one there. But my preferite when I am like a, 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 not any more boys mm -hmm. but is a is a combination of crema fiorentina and raspberry sorbet. Oh wow. I mean, I'm dying right now. <laughs> no, please. I give you for you. There's no word about it. Okay, okay. You're not feeling better. So, and um, I'm thinking, so is gelato uh, always good at every time of the day? Yes, it's, a, it's good every time of the day. It's a, it's a cuddle. It's like, uh, it's a, we need to, to, to be understand also. It's, uh, it's having inside the sugar, you have inside the milk. Well, it's a sometimes it depends on what kind of diet do you have, and then it's yeah. a, you need be to be respect the rules. But I think is that 80, 90 grams of gelato is not poison. Like. Yeah, you know, no, it's possible. So it's, not. it's not. It's possible to do to to hit in that way. It's also it's a, it's a, my philosophy is this: it give you happiness. And then gelato is you have a five maybe ten minutes of cuddles, and then it give you the happiness, and then you reset your 
problem from your so, mind. So it's like a kiss, like a match or I Yeah, mean, like, mwah, like, like, the, a, like that. <laughs> Probably yes. Yeah, so okay, so not too much, not not not, not, not just a few, but exactly. It's, it's, it's a, a like a glass of wine. That's uh, yeah. you know what I mean. Yeah, so to enjoy the Dolce Vita, <laughs> exactly. the good life and this is this is also is a, one of the properties of this country. Yeah, oh, that's happiness, true. That's Dolce Vita <laughs> and then he's a smile in every day in yeah. the sun. Yeah, that's beautiful. So and Vittorio, you never you never stop anything, right? You always like doing yeah. lots of activities, like yeah. master class. Yeah. You yeah. teach everywhere uh, around the world. I go everywhere, and then everywhere is ask me which is the new uh, way of gelato, new idea, and then I explain. Sometimes I respect my tradition, yeah. not the rules, the tradition. And then it's of course it's everywhere in the world the people who want to eat at any time the chocolate or the vanilla or the strawberries. But it also is a is one opportunities of the gelato maker to propose something different. Yeah. That is a, that is a, is why he's asked me to go around to teach to make the gelato yeah. by scratch. Of course, it's a, it's a sometimes a hard, but we try to it's do the best. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah. What do you have in your hands? Ah, this is my book. Wow, that's your book. Yeah. Ah, that's you, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love your shirt. I love your shirt. Yeah, that's it. Because it's, a, it's, a, it's a funny because I'm a collector of Hawaiian shirts. Oh, really? Yes, and then also I have New York Yankee hats because I study English in New York. Ah, okay. There's a long that's story more. like. Okay, the gelato. Okay, gelato in the US. So yeah. Fantastic. Okay. But but it's also is uh, is inside of this we talk like uh, my biography, like my life, and what is it give me? What, no, well, what is behind a gelato? Behind a cup of gelato? Behind a con of gelato? This is everything inside because uh, it's also the tradition, but it's also uh, to give you something, something the people should stay back because uh, I spent three years of my life to go to teach into the job in prison wow. with my association. And then after that experience, we start with the, with the school. So, il gelato non è uguale per tutti. So, the, the gelato is not the same for, for everybody. everybody. Yeah. So, it's different. So everybody has some gelato, yeah, yeah. right? It's also philosophy gelato. That's amazing. Wow. So, now I would like to taste your gelato. Absolutely. We run away <laughs> to, for, with, the, with two kilos of gelato just for her. For her. <laughs> okay, thank you. Thank you so much. And, uh, thank you so much. Ciao. Bye. Gelato.